Hello and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4 with me, Matthew Cadiz, a.k.a. Poogie. So, this is where things start getting really hard for Squaddy because um, although we have taken one of the ca uh, enemy camps, the next ones, plural, will be quite hard to actually get past because of various reasons. Uh, but we'll get to that because that would... Re um, that would involve getting something that I kind of referenced in the last episode and we kind of saw. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here on the main battlefield there are a bunch of soldiers and of course the Vulcan. No way there'd be a blizzard now. The wind is wrong. And this... this snow isn't natural, it's... blue. Alright, go ahead and get to it then. We're all waiting for you. Show us this power of yours. you answer, Nicola? I could ask you the same. I'm not gonna let that nobody take all my fun. We will grant Lord Belgar's wishes and earn his praises, and we will employ whatever methods we have to. Besides, we already got Lord Belgar's permission. Go on, Valkyria. Show us what a legend can do. Hill just got blown away. But most of the enemies there should be cleared out. We can get through there more easily now. If her power's strong enough to reshape the terrain, we might as well use it to our advantage. Be gone. There is actually method in what uh, Kai says. The only annoyance is is this um, new enemy now has the power to actually. Well, um, causes quite a bit of grief, because not only can she summon a terrible blizzard, but she, as we saw in that cutscene just now, she can also summon the, um, those icicles, which will do a hell of a lot of damage to our party. As we'll see as the game goes on. But, um, if not so, not only do we now have the, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, the um, Vulcan to deal with, but also this new enemy as well. Um, seriously, Primaria. She is very, very powerful. Not only can she destroy tanks, as you saw just there from the glory. Her power is incredible. Is she even human? There's no line the Empire won't cross. They brought out a goddamn monster. That's a Valkyria. A Valkyria? Valkyria? You mean like the ones in history? The ones that saved Europa from the Northern Invaders? Are you kidding? That's a fairy tale, and this is war. It isn't a fairy tale. 
We've heard there's an Imperial facility that's been researching and developing Valkyria. Researching and... developing? What does that even mean? They search for descendants of the ancient Valkyra, and awaken some inner power to use them as weapons. I've read the reports, but I never thought I'd actually see one in the flesh. What the hell? Can we even win against something like that? We can continue this conversation after we get through this. A head-on assault's just gonna get us all killed. We'll have to keep our distance and avoid her shots while we wait for a chance to counterattack. This is what a Valkyria can do? But that's... Yes. It's a power beyond human limits. Beyond human knowledge. Ultimate weapon. see us losing with her on it. So the question is, how's my soul going to do it? Oh, Klaus! Very badly, because he's being so controlled by an idiot like me. So, uh, yeah. There. Cremaria is no joke, basically. This he's a lot of damage to the glory, and even more so now. Uh, and she can also do the same to any other tank, so just a half -an. So, yeah. You will see on the map there, a huge um, area there, in front of where Cremaria is. That is her area of effect, and where she can be able to attack you. So yes, this mission has become a lot harder because of that. So, um, and with also the uh, Vulcan on the field, it's going to be nigh on impossible to get around here. So there is a way to avoid um, Primaria's attacks, but to do that, um, I will have to um, explain a bit more. Meanwhile, Klaus is driving the the uh, um, I say it, the um, Vulcan like a bumper car. Seriously, yeah, seriously, he just went around the whole field there. Um, but yeah. That being said, we still have the troops here to deal with as well. Um, not just Grimaria. And uh, we'll be tied anyone who tries to retrieve a dead body from the battlefield because, well, if I, I'd sent someone like Minerva out, I would probably have to, because um, that trooper just killed uh, Viola there, or at least gravely wounded her. Um, I would have to um, fall prey to um, there was a Cremaria's interception fire from her icicle uh, staff. Seriously, it is that powerful, and even a scout would have to um, go hide. There are some areas where we can hide with our our troops, so it isn't all bad. But yeah, this mission got a hell of a lot harder because of the emergence of Cremaria. And yes, you did hear right, she is a Valkyria, much like Sylvaria. And that's also the subject of one of the DLC missions in this game. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, now what we have to go and retrieve, okay. um, seemingly the, um, um, dead car. Well, not dead car, it's not as a big rude. Um,. The unconscious body of uh, Viola because she's on the field there. So I do want to use my tank to do so. And the end of this fight isn't pretty. I actually end up dying here, because, or at least giving up on the game there. Uh, so there's the Vulcan. Unfortunately, um, I do not have the power to actually damage it that well. And keep in mind that the um, radiator on the Vulcan around the top of the um, uh, tank there. So yeah, as for Emmy, and I don't know, what am I gonna do with you, um, Emmy? Actually, no, that's Lily. So yeah. One upside to Cremaria's attacks is that they also affect her fellow comrades uh, in the Imperial Army, so yeah. <laughs> Although, ending the turn there was Stupid of me to do, seriously. What I should have done is moved her into the area where there is 
uh, some shelter, because that is, as I say, the only way to avoid Cremaria's attacks. Um, as for the Vulcan, I want to actually use both tanks to destroy it, because that seems to be the best way to uh, do so. Uh, be wary, though. Cremaria's attacks can immobil immobilize the, your tanks, in addition to uh, the thing. So, yeah. I can envisage uh, Rebecca. In fact, she is the one who actually dies here, leaving me without um, an engineer, pretty much forcing me to rage quit. But I wanted to keep the story in, so yeah. The next episode will have me finishing this uh, mission. This very tough mission, I might add. Seriously. But um, nevertheless, um, I can at least repair the glory which Cremaria also destroyed. The another downside to this game, certainly the PS4 version of Valkyrie Chronicles 4, is that um, you can get. Uh, it does take a while for your um, troops to actually uh, recover while Cremaria is firing. I think it's just a loading thing. I don't know if that's the same on the Switch or the PC versions. But this is on the thing. And for, for the record, let's try actually aiming at the thing. Nope, that radiator is well guarded, so the mean gene machine can't do a damn thing. <sighs> so yeah, as for as I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Seriously, um, how about getting that uh, one true boat? Oh, scout. I don't think her mortar will be able to reach there because, and that's a problem because. Um, going any further, we'll seriously have her going towards um, Cremaria's area of effect, if you know what I mean. So yeah, you know, sooner have I finished the uh, thing, then I want to probably say, which probably isn't a good idea. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.